Hello everyone. I am back with another quick video. In this video, I am going to show you whether your statistics objects are being really used by the query optimizer or not. Now what happens in SQL Server is, stats are automatically created by default. There is a database property, SP, not SP, auto create stats and auto update stats which, is, uh, which are typically turned on by default. So when you are executing queries uh, against certain columns and if stats do not exist and if the optimizer feels that there is a need of a particular statistics object on a column, it will automatically go and create statistics for that particular column. Mind you, SQL Server will create only single column stat objects. It does not create multi-column stat objects. But what also happens is when you create manual indexes, uh, let's say you create a non-clustered index on specific columns, SQL Server will create statistics uh, to support those indexes as well. So what happens is uh, in your day-to-day -day execution of your workloads and queries and your index strategies, you will land up having a lot of stat objects in SQL Server for your databases and for your columns. I'm going to show you some techniques using SQL Server trace flags using which you can identify whether your stat objects are being really used or not. And if you figure out that there are certain stat objects that are kind of not being really used, then you might want to get rid of them because they would unnecessarily creep into your maintenance plans. So I'm using AdventureWorks 2012 here. There is a table call person dot person I'm creating a copy of that table I select and execute and when I look at the SP underscore help stats system stored procedure you can see that right now there are no indexes and there are no statistics on this table this is a heap then I execute a query where I'm using three columns here first name middle name and last name and when I execute this, uh, this is a plain vanilla installation of SQL Server. I guess this is 2014 uh, I'm running on. And when I execute this query, you can understand what will happen. SQL Server will go ahead and, of course, execute the query, but will also, behind the scenes, create stat objects. It will create a stat object for first name, middle name, and last name. As I mentioned, SQL Server automatically can create only single column statistics. So if I execute this, SP help stats and I can see that SQL Server has created stats objects for first name, middle name and last name. Well, uh, there are some more videos in this YouTube channel, uh, SQL Maestros, where I have recorded uh, uh, at least two or three videos on statistics where I have explained a lot about statistics, creation, maintenance, updation, etc. So I am going to skip that portion. Now, there's another DMV here, uh, SysDMDB stats properties. If I use this DMV, I can get a... a a little more meaningful information about my stats objects. So these are the three stats objects which have been created by SQL Server automatically. And um, here are the rows and the sample. And what's most important is no modifications have been done till now. And this was the last updated column. Now, why I use this particular DMV, which is very useful, is to get the stats ID, which I don't get with help stats. So I can see for my first name, uh, my uh, stats ID here is 2, 3 and 4. So um, these are the three for, for first name, middle name and last name. So these are my stats ID 2, 3 and 4. So just keep that in mind. Now I am going to go uh, create uh, a, an index, a non-clustered index on first name, middle name and last name. Now please observe that this is a composite index on three columns. I go ahead and create it. And when I look at my stats object um, list, you will now see that a fifth stats object exists now, which is based on my index, which is stats ID 5. Now comes the interesting part. I want to figure out when I run my queries, is SQL Server really using all of them or, or are they stats objects which SQL Server is not using? This is what we need to figure out. There are uh, couple of queries that you can write to uh, find this out and of course in real world environment you will have your own production workload to test against but I have just put down some queries here for example I have um, written down this query where I take I only filter on first name then I only filter on middle name and then only on last name when I execute 
this first one I will turn on actual execution plan or press control M and when I execute this I go into the execution plan you can see I am seeking on this particular index that had been that was created by me manually so you could see this is IDFX ML out there and when I let me just turn on the zoom yes so that I can zoom in and show you and then when I execute this one on middle name and I go to the execution plan you can see this time I'm not seeking I'm scanning simply because I'm not seeking on the first column so I can't seek on the second column because there is a left base subset mechanism which is being followed here so here you could see I'm just scanning my object ID FML and of course the same logic will be with the last name and when I execute this you can see I am only scanning I'm not seeking now I want to see the usage of statistics behind these three different queries and of course I can also execute a query like this where I'm using all the three columns so first I'll turn on trace flag 3604 3604 will help me get the output on the client um, in SSMS for my trace flags 9204929212388 now there are three different trace flags that I am using uh, 929292 uh, will uh, load the stats header uh, for uh, most of the stats objects that have been created so if the optimizer feels a need of uh, kind of exploring them the stats ob uh, headers will be loaded 9204 will tell me whether they have been really used by the optimizer or not and there is 2388 2388 also does something and uh, I always refer to my friend's blog which is Prince Rastogi and he has done a wonderful stuff on uh, one trace flag a day series that is on sqlservergeeks.com and he's really blogged about a lot of different trace flags so when I go to 2388 and I just see what he has written about 2388 um, if you want to see information of last four statistics update on a stats object then you can use trace flag 2388 well in this particular case I don't really need um, 2388 so I could just ignore that I can focus on 9204 and 9292 so when I execute this particular query let's go ahead and do that and see what's going on we get the output we can see that the uh, the optimizer is seeking on the index and rightly so because we have an index on all, all the three columns and let's go to the messages tab now the here is the interesting output now when you see that index ID 2 3 and then 4 and 5 all four stats objects are being uh, loaded uh, and they are being used so you can see stats header loaded and then we say stats loaded which actually means that uh, the optimizer is actually loading the uh, stats objects and is also using it so at, at this particular uh, uh, point we see that all stats objects are are useful because we are actually uh, using all the three columns in our uh, predicates when I look at the second one which is uh, the second query where first name is equal to 20 so I'm skipping middle name and last name and when I execute this and when I go to the messages tab and I can see only uh, index ID 4 which is actually my uh, in stats on first name this was auto created by uh, SQL server and then my index these are being used which is on first name when I look at last name and we go to the messages tab now now is the most interesting part when I go and look at my filtering on last name now the now SQL server is actually not using the stats object which is created for the index it uses its own stats object which is 2 and you can see that uh, 5 is not being used which was being used earlier and I will tell you why in a moment and when I actually also look at middle name and when I execute this and when I go to the messages tab you can see again the same result which is SQL Server auto stats of stats ID 3 is being used but the index is not being used now why is SQL Server behaving this way simply because as you can understand when I am filtering on first name in this particular query and in this particular query remember first name is the first column in my multi-column index and 
the order of columns in an index object really matters. So when I'm actually filtering on first name, SQL Server can use the index for seeking as well as for cardinality estimation. Uh, it helps the optimizer. But when I only filter and my predicates are only on last name and middle name, which are actually subsequently the second and the third column, SQL Server gets little benefit from the index. It only uses index for scanning purposes, but actually cannot seek. And when it does not want to really seek on last name and middle name, it does not really want to use these stats, which is created for the purpose of index. So it lands up using its own index object, uh, which it created in the very beginning. So with this quick test, as you can see, um, there are uh, using these uh, different trace flags, you can actually figure out whether your stats objects are being used or not. Now, of course, you can do more tests. Let's say I drop this table and I will just go ahead and create it again and I will just do this test. I'll, I'll do a bit of tweaking here and these are things that really help. And just to show you no stats object, I'm not going to run this query now because uh, you remember in the first example, I ran this first, which uh, because of which SQL Server created the three stat objects. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and create the index first. When I do that and when I look at the uh, table, uh, the stats uh, object uh, metadata here, and you can see that I only have one uh, stats object to support my index, which is stats ID 2. Now I will go ahead and run this query. Where is my query? This one. And then let's see what SQL Server does. So when I execute this, interestingly, SQL Server will now, let me not tell you, let's go ahead and see what SQL Server does you will see SQL Server has actually created a stats object for three and uh, four, which is actually for your column. Uh, you can see six and seven, which is middle name and last name. It did not create the stats object for first name. And this corroborates uh, what we saw earlier. That is for first name, it does not really need a specific stats object because the stats uh, which was created for the index does all the job for it. Why? Because first name is actually the first column in the index. So with this little test, we understand that a stat object on first uh, name was actually not useful and was just lying out there. Instead, uh, SQL Server can use the uh, stats for this particular index. So all that the optimizer really here needs is uh, the index stats uh, to be benefited for first name and then its own stats objects for middle name and last name. Now this is just an academic prototype to kind of explain you how stats are being uh, internally uh, used by the optimizer to do cardinality estimation which in turn helps um, generate an optimized execution plan. So uh, friends go ahead and uh, do these tests yourself to see uh, whether your so many stats that are lying out there are they really being used or not and and also not only uh, the stats objects but then there are multiple indexes on on permutations and combinations of column duplicate indexes redundant indexes and uh, all of them are supported by stats so you have many stats objects that could be there in your production environment which are kind of not really being used and sometimes they're redundant in nature which means you can get rid of many of them and that can really help reduce the maintenance window period so friends with this i will uh, end the video here and in case you wish to uh, follow me uh, my twitter handle is a underscore bansal and uh, for sql maestros it is sql maestros yeah I do a lot of stuff which is all visible on sqlmaestros.com so do visit this website and I'm also part of uh, Asia's largest uh, data and analytics conference focused on Microsoft data platform and you can learn about that on dps10.com hope to see many of you there well thanks very much for your time hope this video was useful to you I will be back soon with another video on sql maestros YouTube channel Thank you and you have a great day.